Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to pass the play integrity test on Lineage OS ROM. So as you might be aware, when it comes to custom ROM, there still exists quite a few ROMs that does not pass the play integrity test out of the box and Lineage OS is one such ROM. Even on their homepage, you will see this quirk of device integrity and they have listed that by design Lineage OS does not pass either the play integrity or the safety net test. So you will have to pass this test manually. Regarding the test, you only have to pass the device integrity and the basic integrity. You don't have to or rather you cannot pass the strong integrity because that requires an unlock bootloader. And as of now, you cannot have an unlock bootloader on a custom ROM. So that is out of the equation. So keeping that aside, in this video, I'll show you how to pass the play integrity test or in other words, the first two tests, which is the device integrity and basic integrity. So first off, in most custom ROM, you might already be passing the basic integrity. Let's verify what is the case with Lineage OS ROM. For doing this check, we will use the Play Integrity API Checker app. You can install the app from Play Store. So let's launch this app and currently, as you could see, let me show you once again, as of now, the phone is only passing the basic integrity. It is not passing the device integrity. So we will have to pass the device integrity test as well. But for that, you will have to root your custom ROM. Yes, until and unless you root the ROM, you will not be able to pass its test. So on that note, let's get started. If you get any error message, then make sure that you are online. So let me show you that once again. Just a minute. Once you are online, again, try doing a check and it will take only a few seconds. And then as you could see, we are currently only passing the basic integrity and we are failing the rest of the two tests. So we have to pass the device integrity and then we'll be able to use all the banking and payment app of our choice. So first of all, you will have to root the custom ROM via Magis. So I made a separate guide on the same. Let's get this job done. So regarding routing the Lineage OS ROM, there exists two methods via the Lineage OS recovery and by using the payload bin file. As of now, I'll be using the Lineage OS recovery method because it's quite shorter. So in this regard, your first course of action is to get hold of Android SDK platform tools. So get it from here and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive and these are the files of platform tools. Once that is done, you will also have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. Rather, OEM unlocking is not required because the bootloader is already unlocked. So simply enable USB debugging. For that, go to the settings menu. Then from there, you have to go to about phone. And from about phone, you have to tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now, you have enabled development settings. So go back, then go to system and you should now see developer option, go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone, tap on okay. You might get an RC key prompt as well. In that case, tap on allow. And with this debugging is now enabled. Let's verify the same. So go to platform tools folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command from inside platform tools. Now you will have to type in ADB devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and rebug your phone from the PC, disable and re-enable USB debugging, tap on revoke USB debugging, use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that you're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, your next course of action is to download the latest Magisk APK file. So you could get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. So as of now, no need to get hold of the zip file. You will only have to download the APK file. So you refer to my guide and get hold of the Magisk APK file. Once you've got the APK file, you will have to transfer the APK file onto your phone as well. And apart from that, you will also have to keep one version of the file in the platform to folder as well. So let me show you what I mean. So once you have got the Magisk APK file, copy it and paste one copy in the on your phone, whereas keep the other copy inside the platform tool folder on your PC. Now the Magisk APK, which is there inside the platform tool folder, have to be re renamed to zip file. So simply change the extension from APK to zip. You will get a prompt. Click on yes. And with this, we have got the Magisk zip file. For the ease of convenience, let me rename the version number as well because it will be easier to type in the CMD window. So the file name becomes magis.zip and with this we have got the magis.zip file. While on the other hand, 
the matches on your phone should still be in the apk format it's just the matches on the platform tools should be in the zip format so with that said we are now done with this so your next course of action is now to boot your phone to the recovery mode and from there you could then sideload the matches zip file so type in adb reboot recovery and your phone should not reboot into the lineage os recovery it will take only a few seconds once that happens we could then move ahead with the next step so let's just wait and we should now be inside the lineage os recovery in a matter of few seconds okay one more thing before starting please take a backup of all the data on your phone just to be on a safer side once that is done let's now start so select apply update then choose apply from adb and your phone is now in the sideload mode so type in adb devices and make sure that you are getting the sideload keyword once you are getting this keyword now type in adb sideload and the name of the file which is magisk dot zip and hit enter and the sideloading will now start you will get a prompt on your phone signature verification failed install anyway tap on yes and it will now start doing the sideloading you are getting this prompt because this file is not a part of lineage os if you flash any zip file which does not officially belong to lineage os then you will get this prompt it's completely normal even doing a sideload of any gas package will give you this prompt so it's nothing to worry about just tap on yes and once the sideloading is done just tap on reboot system now and with this the magisk will be installed in the back end however the app might not still be installed in the front end so you will have to manually install the app in the front end and that is the reason why we have transferred the apk file onto our phone as well so now you will have to install the app onto your device manually as well as of now the magisk app is installed only in the back end so let's just wait for the phone to boot up and as you might be aware this is the new boot animation of lineage os it has undergone a revamp after ages so with this we are now inside the lineage os and now launch the file manager app of your choice and tap on the magisk apk and tap on install then tap on open and you will have to wait for around 4 to 5 seconds for that for the first boot up of magisk and if you get simply na or not available or the app simply force close then again launch the app and you will have to connect to the internet once so do so and then or if you don't want you may also once again install the magisk apk and this time tap on update and the app will now be installed so tap on open and now you will get a prompt that magisk requires some additional setup so tap on okay and your phone will now automatically reboot into the os magisk will now reboot your phone to the os and this will take around 5 to 10 seconds so let's just wait for the phone to reboot do know that while the process is going on in some cases the reboot might take a little bit longer this is completely normal and nothing to worry about so let's just wait for a phone to reboot and then we could proceed ahead and verify if our phone has been booted or not for that we will use an app known as root checker you could install the app from play store so once that happens we could then verify the root process and then move ahead to pass the plain integrity test as well so as of now our phone is booted to os now launch the magisk app and okay so you are in some cases you might get one more prompt so again tap on ok and then select direct install and tap on let's go and it will now patch and flash the boot image boot image file and once that is done simply tap on the reboot button let me show you tap on the reboot button and your phone will now reboot to the os and this time around you should have obtained root so i know this might seem like a little bit lengthier process but in custom rom this usually happens that you might have to carry out this process a couple of times before you obtain root this is just for the one time setup from subsequent time you will don't have to do such a lengthier method so let's just wait for the phone to boot up and with this we should now have obtained root because it only requires the setup a couple of times at the very max so let's now verify the same let's now launch the magisk app and see what is the result so as you could see this time around we have obtained root we have got the installed version as well if you want you may do an update that's completely optional i don't want an update right now simply i want to obtain root and with this we have got root so let's verify the same you could install an app known as root checker 
from play store and verify the root as well so let me open the app and let's get started and tap on verify root so as you could see we have obtained root onto our phone so just tap on grant and with this we have obtained root on android 14 phone which is the lineage os rom so on that note we have check marked the first requirement now since we have rooted our custom rom you should now be failing both the tests that is the device integrity as well as the basic integrity initially we were only failing the first test because our phone was not rooted now since we have done the root we are we should also be failing the first test as well let me check it and as you could see we are failing the first test as well so why did we root then well we had to root because we had to pass the second test as well for passing the first and second test rooting the phone is compulsory while as of now we are failing both the first and second test but we will now be able to pass the first two tests only after obtaining root if you don't obtain root then you will not be able to pass even the first test again i am repeating for the third test you will not be able to pass in any case whatsoever so simply ignore that the strong integrity will not conflict with any banking and payment app you just have to pass the first and second test so as of now we will pass the first and second test and as you could see we have obtained root so let's get started with the next part of this guide which is the most important part so now we have to pass the plain integrity test regarding this there are quite a few ways for instance you could use a module which is the most easiest method and the shortest likewise you could also use a pixel flasher method which is also quite easy but a little bit lengthy then this is the manual method which is the most complicated and the most lengthiest but it comes with the maximum success rate you will have to make your own custom build prop fingerprint and that fingerprint will be unique for you and google might not be able to patch it so this comes with the maximum success rate but it's the most complicated and lengthiest so we will first of start with the module method and then move over to the pixel flash method i'll show you both these methods and i will also discuss the manual method i have also already made a video on the same you could also check out that video as of now i show the first and second method so reg regarding the first method first and foremost you will have to enable zygisk inside the magisk so currently as you could see it's showing as no next to zygisk so go to the magisk settings and enable the toggle next to zygisk it will now ask you to do a reboot we will not do a reboot now we will do a reboot after flashing a module so now you will have to hide the magic cap as well so in the settings menu tap on hide the magic cap and rename it to something else so as of now i will rename it to dwidwin you may rename it to whatever you want and then tap on okay just don't use the basic apps names such as magic or root su super user don't use such apps name and now it will ask you if you want to add the shortcut to home screen i don't want this shortcut so let me tap on cancel and with this let me show you this will now act as our new magic app the app icon and the app name have been changed so from now onwards this is our new magic app and now you will have to once that is done your next course of action is to download the module so this is the plain to get a fixed module get it from github always make sure to download the latest version because the older ones would have been patched from by google so always use the latest build you only have to download the zip file once you have got the zip file transfer it onto your phone once you have done the transfer and also once you have enabled the toggle next to zygisk let's now flash this module so go to the module section tap on install from storage and let's select this module as well so this is the plain integrity fix module select it and tap on okay and at the time of recording the version 15.8 is the latest one so as you could see i flashed that version only now tap on reboot and upon the reboot the module should be activated as well as zygisk should be enabled as well and once that happens we will have to carry out a few additional task and after that we could then verify the result as well so our next course of action is now to hide the root from a few google apps depending on the gapps package which you have flashed the number of google's app might vary but if you have flashed the gapp package which comes with the maximum amount of google apps you, then you will have to hide the root from the following four apps in my case i have used used the core gapps packages which comes with the least amount of google apps so only one or two apps might be there which we will check right now but before that launch the magisk app 
and make sure that is showing yes next to the IGS. Likewise, the module should be up and running. So now we will have to enforce and configure the deny list of magis. So launch the magis cap, then go to the settings menu. Then you have to enable the toggle next to enforce deny list, then tap on configure deny list, then tap on the overflow icon and select show system app. And again, I'm re repeating depending on the G apps packages that we have flashed, the number of G apps might vary. But these are the four apps from which you have to hide root. First off, let me search for the place services. So it's there. So expand it and enable the toggle next to all its services, place service. Likewise, do the same for Google Play Store as well. Enable the toggle next to all the services. After that, let me search for the third app, which is service framework. So it does. So this is the app. Enable the toggle next to all its services. And the last one is the Google Play Protect service. Let me search for that as well. So this is not there. So in my case, I had flashed the core G apps, which only comes with the minimal G apps packages. And in that case, I had the these three apps. So if you have flashed any G app packages, then these three apps are compulsory. The fourth app might or might not be there. That's not an issue. Just make sure to hide the root from the following three apps. After that, you will have to hide the root from the banking and payment app of your choice as well. So for instance, any banking payment app, or if you want to hide from streaming apps such as Netflix, you may hide from that as well. Once that is done, you will now have to remove the data of all such apps. So let's get that job done. Go to the settings menu, go to apps, then see all apps, type on the overflow icon, show system. And let's now search for the app. First off, let's go to Google Play service, storage and cache, click on clear storage clear all data, delete, then go back and again go back. Let's search for Google Play Store, storage and cache, clear storage, delete. Now Google services framework. So let me search for that. Go there, storage and cache, clear storage, delete. In my case, the fourth app, Google Play Product service was not there. So up after this, you will now have to remove the data from the banking and payment app from which you have hide the route. So make sure to remove the data from there as well. And once that is done, you will now have to restart your phone. Do note that this restart is compulsory. So let's now restart our phone. And once that is done, we could now check out the result, whether we are passing the plane ticket test or not. If we are not passing the test, then it's simply because Google has passed the fingerprint, which is there in this module. On the other hand, if we are passing the test, then again, it's simply because Google has not yet patched the fingerprint and we are good to go ahead. So we, we could now verify the same for testing out the result. You will have to install the, an app known as Play Integrity API Checker. There are quite a few apps using which you could carry out this check. But as of now, I'm using the Play Integrity API Checker app from Play Store. So you could install the app. Then you have to be online as well. Now launch it and tap on check and let's verify the result. So as you could see, as of now, we are passing both the first and second test, which is the device integrity and basic integrity. So with this, we have now done our job and you could now easily use the banking and payment app without any issue. But if let's suppose down the line, Google tends to patch this module. So in that case, you will then have to move over to a second method as well. Let me explain that as well. So as of now, although I'm passing both this test, but it might happen in the near future that Google might patch this module while the developer will release a new module, but that, that might take a little bit longer in that time frame. You may use our next method. So let's move ahead with the next method. This is using the pixel flasher tool. So let me show you that as well. So in that case for the pixel flasher, first and foremost, okay, skip this first line. It's nothing to do is for the manual method. You must skip this. First off, get hold of the Android SDK platform tools, which we have got from here and make sure to remove all the other files. So for instance, let me remove the magic file from here and it should be the stock platform tools folder. Once that is done, you will now have to enable Zygisk and restart your phone. So let me show you the Zygisk is currently enabled onto our phone well and good. Then after that, you will now have to get hold of the pixel flasher tool from GitHub. So get it from here and extract them onto a PC. This tool only has an exe file 
and nothing else. So let me show you. It only comes at an exe file. So, so launch the exe file. And once you have launched the file, it will now load the tool and could take up to a few seconds. You will get a prompt on your phone, tap on grant. This is the request from the pixel flasher. So once that is done, first and foremost, click on the browse button next to Android platform tools. Click on browse and then go to the folder where you have extracted platform tools and choose the entire folder. You will have to select the entire folder and not any file. So choose this and click on select folder. It will now perform a test and make sure that there are no error messages. Once there are no error messages, you could now move ahead with the next step. So next up, you will now have to also connect your phone to the PC via USB cable and make sure that the USB debugging is enabled. So in our case, debugging is enabled as well. So now you could click on the scan button next to ADB and it will get a prompt and as you will get a prompt on your tool, select your phone from here. And with this, your phone is now selected over here, as you could see. And we could now move ahead with the next step. Okay, before that, let me do one thing. Let me now remove the module from our phone and fail the test intentionally so that we could check out the result as well. So as you might be aware, as of now, I'm passing the test, but this is just because of this module. So let me first remove this module from here and fail the test and only then I'll be able to proceed ahead. So I have removed the module. Now I'll do a restart and then we could move ahead and carry out the task because if I'm already passing the test, then there is no need to carry out this task and I will not be able to show you as well. So first off, let me fail the test and only then I could show you how to pass it using this tool method as well. So it will take only a few seconds and with this, I will be back to the default set setting as of now I will fail all the three tests. So let me show you that as well. And then we could proceed ahead with the next step. So with this, we are now booted to the OS and let me unlock it and let me verify first off that this should be enabled. It's enabled and the module is no longer there. So now if I launch the plain integrity app and tap on check, you could see we are failing all the three tests. Let me show you. So again, our ultimate aim will be to pass the first and the second test. So let me show you how that could be done using the pixel flasher tool. So first off, click on the scan button and make sure your phone is shown here. So it's already visible here. Well and good. And we have also chosen the platform tools. So let's proceed ahead with the next step. So now what you have to do is go to the Magisk tab and select install PIF module. So go to the Magisk tab and click on install PIF module and select Osmosis Plain Integrity Fork. You may choose either of the two, but as of now, we are using the Osmosis Plain Integrity Fork. So choose it. And once that is done, you will have to wait for a few seconds. So let's just wait for that to happen. And once the, it has been made, you will now have to click on OK and then Reboot System. So click on OK over here and it will now be added to your phone. Once that is done, you will have to re restart your phone. So just click on the reboot system button, reboot to system and your phone will now reboot to the OS. This time around the module will be installed. So again, I'm re repeating, we have used the Osmosis Plain Integrity Fork. If you want, you may also try out the Chitroman Plain Integrity Fix, but we are using the fork and this is because this has worked for me in the past as well. This might also work, but I have not tried yet. I always use the Osmosis one. You are free to try any of the two. Once you have made the selection, simply click on the reboot to system and then the module will be installed. We could verify the same as well. So we will first verify that and then move ahead with the next step. So let's wait for the phone to boot up. And if we now go to the Magis module section, you could see that the module has been installed via the pixel flasher tool. It has now flashed and installed the module onto our phone. It has flashed the plain integrity fork module. Anyways, moving on. You will now have to open the tool and hit the play integrity fox button. So click on the PIF manager button. This is the PIF manager. As of now, as you could see, it's currently empty. And just a minute, as you could see, both the sections are currently empty because we don't have any active PIF. So what you have to do is, is click on the process build dot prop if you have a manual. So as of now, we are not using the manual method. Rather, we are using an automatic method. So in case of automatic method, 
what you have to do is simply so let's skip these sections are for the manual method if you have a manual file build prop file you may use these steps or if you don't have the manual and you want to automate the process which is the easier approach let me show you what you have to do so click you will now have to skip the step 9 10 and 11 and let's now proceed with the step 12 for the automatic method so simply hit the button of get the free man random pif it will generate a random pif for you once that is done you will have to click on the paste button from here so so click on the paste button and the same will be copied in the active pif window but as of now the pif shown here is not the same which is there onto your phone so you will now have to maintain a uniformity so because the pif in the active pif window is not the same as your phone you are getting this red warning sign so what you have to do is simply hit this button create pif.json it will make a json file and once it has made the json file you could now verify the result as well so let's now verify the result and check if it works or not so for that you could use any of the four apps so as of now we are using the play integrity checker app so you may choose this app and then click on play integrity check you may use any of the four apps to install any of this app from play store and then click the same button as of now i'm using the play integrity api checker so i have this app installed so make the selection and click on play integrity check it will launch the app and perform a check so it will take up to a few seconds so let's just wait for that to happen you may also manually launch this tool or this app and do the check or you may do so automatically which i am doing right now any of these two methods will work so let's see what happens now so as you could see i am only passing the second test i am not passing the first test so this means and the same will be shown here as well in the output window so this means this build prop file has been patched by google and it will no longer work so what you will have to do is once again click on the get the free man random pif it will generate a new pif so again paste that pif in the active pif window and you will once again have to update the pif so, so hit the update pif json button and it will update the pif onto your phone once the update is done again click on play integrity check it will perform a check and let's verify this time around so again we are filling the test so you will have to keep on carrying out this test until and unless you find the right play integrity build prop file which passes the test it might even take up to hours so you will have to carry out this task there is no other way out to get this job done apart from that i have made this job easier so i managed to find out a couple of fingerprints that passes this test by default so let me show you i found out out of phone of blue g8 and one from the samsung sm g 950 u so at the time of writing this article which was around a couple of months ago both these fingerprints were passing the test as you could see from here so let's try and out using this fingerprint and see if they work or not if it's not working then it might be the case that google has passed the fingerprint but at the time when i wrote this article and i've also made the video on the same at that point in time both these fingerprints were working well, well and good so let me now verify if it's still working or not first off let me use the blue g8 so copy the entire command from here and then you will have to paste it in the active pif section so paste it here and then click on the update pif json and once that is done click on play integrity check and let's verify the result this time around what happens this time around let me see it is now going to perform a check and it could take up to a few seconds for that to happen so as of now it seems that google has patched this fingerprint as well so this no longer works anyways let me move ahead with the next fingerprint which is this one so let me perform a check via this as well let me paste it here and update the pif json and see what is the result this time around with this one so this fingerprint is working still so google has not yet patched this fingerprint and the same you could see from here we are passing the first and second test as well so it's just a matter of time as soon as my fingerprint goes live or rather this article gains a lot of attraction and a lot of users start using these build properties google will patch them straight away as of now not many are aware of this print so it's safe but in the near future google may patch it but 
currently it's not been passed so you may use it so what we did was to simply copy this fingerprint paste it in the active pif section and then hit the update pif.json button after that you may perform a check via any of these app and as you could see we are now passing the first and second test so guys these were the two methods through which you could pass the test onto your phone if you are planning to do so via the manual method then i have a guide on the same as well you could refer to my guide it is somewhat lengthy and complicated but i have explained in detail each and every step likewise i have made a video on the same you could refer to my video on how to pass the test manually i have explained each and every step in that so if none of the methods work in other words if the module as well as the pixel flasher tool is not working and you you are filling the test then in that case you have two option either keep on using the freeman random pif until you obtain success or opt for the manual method and the manual method is quite complicated and lengthy but it comes with the maximum success rate so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching